MJ. Green, um, at this point with two months left in the administration, does the White House see a real value in President Biden directly engaging with members of the press? Oh, absolutely, yes. Um, look, I think we have worked really hard, and I, and I hope you all have seen this, to make sure that we brought back the norms um, that was taken away from our, our predecessor on how we engage with the press. The president respects uh, the freedom of the press, uh, and he actually enjoys it, it, engaging and going back and forth uh, with all of you. And that is something, and he's done that extensively, and that is certainly something that he's going to continue to do. Uh, we have what, less than 60 days, I think you just said two months uh, left. Uh, that is plenty of time for the president conti to continue that engagement. He will. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, this, is, this is something that we respect, uh, you know, bringing back the norms, working with the White House Correspondent Association, making sure that we have that healthy back and forth uh, with, um, you know, with, with the press corps. And so uh, we believe it is important when the president engages uh, with the press. He's done, I, I believe, more than 50 interviews just this year alone. He's, t he's taken hundreds of questions and his back and forth with all of you, and that's going to continue. Um, if all of that is true, yeah. why on a six-day foreign trip where the president obviously had a robust American press corps traveling with him, did he not have a single engagement, whether it is a press conference or maybe just speaking on the tarmac or really anywhere where he took questions from the press? I mean, as you all just stated and wrote about, the G20 and APEC was his last opportunity to deal with some of these world leaders that he has built a close relationship with. Has some of some some of them he's known certainly more than his uh, almost four years uh, in in this office, uh, and so he truly wanted to spend time engaging and and listening, having that one-on-one -on -one engagement that the president uh, believes in uh, and trusts in, and so he wanted to spend time doing that, uh, and so that's what you saw the president do. And I get it. I, I get that. You all want to hear from the president. I, I get that. I understand that. Uh, and I'm not saying that you won't. You will. Uh, he will certainly continue to engage uh, with all of you. And it is. When I say it's something that he actually enjoys doing, it is. He enjoys having the back and forth uh, with all of you. And that's going to continue. Just to be clear, you yeah. mean the explanation is that he, on this trip, was extra busy meeting with world leaders because this is one of his you well, know, last what, I, what I'm saying is, as you know, this was one of his last opportunities to speak to many of these leaders. There were 20 leaders at the G20, more than 21, or about 21 leaders at APEC. Uh, and so he wanted to spend that time certainly uh, doing what he normally does at these conferences, obviously, uh, but, uh, but also, uh, you know, um, speaking directly to them uh, as one of his final times as president. Uh, and again, putting that aside, I think your question was, do we believe that he should engage some version of that? I apologize if I'm not quoting you directly. Yeah, we think it's important for him to uh, engage with the press. He thinks it's important uh, to engage with the press, and that's going to continue. It is. You, the, you will hear from the president and have an opportunity uh, to do those uh, back and forths that you normally have done with him. 